Hi guys, another week, another discussion board, a few more inquisitives. You all got this knocked, you know what's going on. Um, stay on top of the discussions, obviously. Get your first post in, continue to post from now on. Um, talk amongst yourselves, you know, respond to other people's uh, posts. You can put more stuff up for your own post if you think that there's something that you need to talk to. Um, as I've said over the past couple update videos like this, I'm going to work myself out of the discussion a little. I'm not going to be quite so prompting with questions and things like that. I still expect you to participate fully, but you've got the hang of it. You don't need me asking you a bunch of extra questions. This is some of my favorite stuff, so I might go ahead and throw in uh, and just you know try and move through. If I think what you're saying is really interesting and you get me going, I may go ahead and pitch in on that too. Um, but as we come closer to the conclusion here, as we start to wrap up the course and we are in the last stretch. We are, we're you know, wrapping up module six. There's only seven and eight in the final. So we've got about a month left of good hard work and then we're done with this. So um, stay on top of stuff. Obviously, like the whole semester, if you have a problem, get in touch with me. We are running out of time in the semester to have problems. So if you've got any issues that you wanna have addressed, give me a, um, an email. Uh, a question that folks have asked, and this is, I mean, it's gone on over the whole semester, and it's the same thing as usual. How do I really max my points on the discussion board? Well, I mean, look at the rubric. The rubric lays it out. If you want to get full points for just participation, you need to have nine, ten posts up there, and you need to have them spread out over five or six days. So your first post during the first week, and then you're participating almost every day during that second week. And you only have to get on there maybe once and throw a post up each day, but you really need to, it's, it's a discussion. You have to say something, people are going to respond to you, you respond back. That's how you knock off the participation stuff. That's how you knock off um, the frequency and the timeliness of the posting stuff. That's 20 of the 50 points right there that's just sort of, you know, ticking boxes, going through the motions. The big points, the 30 points of the 50 is your content. And again, the point of this exercise is to get you thinking historically, but part of that process is making use of those primary sources. So I want to see you using those primary sources and using them specifically, referencing specific elements of them. Um, it's fine to say uh, in the so-and-so document, um, it sort of refers to this or that situation. Okay, that's fine. But what you want to do is get in there and say, look, so uh, the author of this document says these things, these words exactly, you know, short quote. And what he's talking about is this situation. And you can say he's kind of peripheral and he's a bit of a crank. Or you can say this is the majority mainstream opinion here. This is what's really moving people. And this guy is the voice of the masses kind of thing. Um, you can take a look at those and, and you know, work that into your discussion post as many times as you can. Those nine or ten discussions scattered over five or six days. Now you're talking really high, you know, forty point um, uh, scores. You're talking, you know, close to fifty um, every time out. And there are folks who are doing this, and you're probably familiar with them. You see their names scattered through the discussion board. They're posting to all the different options. They're posting um, originally. They're posting responses. They're offering new material. They're constantly driving the discussion board forward. That's what I'm looking for. I mean, you got the inquisitives. You guys are killing the inquisitives. That's max points. Don't miss them. There's no reason to. Knock on the discussion boards. Really concentrate on a lot of participation and high quality stuff, and you'll do fine. All right. Have a great week. Let's wrap up module six really strongly, and I will see you next week.